Don't miss CCG Cast.com, best place for Pokemon trading card game. We have singles for standard and expanded, sealed products like team decks, booster boxes, and things. With TCG Center 5 code, you will get 5% discount on your purchase. Also, don't miss pre order for Fate Collade starting from April 1st. Welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center, Mario with you, and today we're looking at another deck, and this one is a for standard format um, Hexerus Octillery. Um, a lot of you basically know um, if you watched my previous videos that uh, pretty much 90% of my decks are um, for the standard format. Since I only play standard format at this moment, that's the reason why I'm only um, building a standard um, decks. But anyway, um, Fred asked me, uh, well, can you build something that's under, um, with the budget and basically that does not run Shamings and the X cards and I'm, I would say like, well, yeah, maybe I can try to build something and there we go. Um, it's a Hexorus with a Dragon Dance, Sharp Fang and a Dragon Pulse, but this version is with the Octillery for a Abyssal Hand for the draw support. So basically Hexorus uh, have three um, decent attacks. The first one is Dragon Dance. You can use it for only one energy card. It says that as long as Hexo is active Pokemon, um, each of your attacks will does 100 more damage on it. So Sharp Fang will does 160 with one and Dragon Pulse 130, uh, 230 with one with uh, double Dragon Energy. But this is good. Even without Dragon Dance, you can hit for a lot of damage because you also have Muscle Band. Um, the good thing is that it's 160 HP and with the trading center it can also get for like 30 more HP so that means that it's like 190 HP so definitely um, worth to play it. Um, the other cards that I have in this deck um, basically it's a Octillery the Buzzle Hand um, it allows you to draw cards until you have 5 um, in your hand so um, if you notice the deck list um, I don't have Hex Maniac the reason why I don't run a Hex Maniac is because uh, in the place where we play there's no Wild Plume item block and uh, maybe one person only play Crobat, so that's the reason why I made this um, deck list. But if you play uh, somewhere where um, you should probably expect uh, to play against a lot of um, decks that have um, bets or um, item lock with the wild plume you should definitely play um, hex maniac but to be honest once your opponent has managed to turn one item lock you um, pretty much hex maniac is just pointless from that point so let's just check another card so 14 pokemon cards 39 trainer cards and seven energies let's start with uh, the pokemon cards okay so having some um, issues all right, so I have um, four Axu with uh, Bread Snack and Dragon Claw. I mean, it doesn't matter which kind of uh, Axu you play. I mean, I picked this one because it have Colorous Attack and it can hit for like ten or with the thirty with the Muscle Band. Um, two Frexor, um, just because in case if you play against Item Lock, well, then there's a possibility that you can just set down um, with Frexor. But a lot of time, if you find yourself playing like three Axu on the bench, you just might be not not will have um, a rare candy for a Hexorus. So that's the reason why I play two of them. Also, four copies of Hexorus with Dragon Dance and Sharp Fang and Dragon Pulse, as I mentioned it earlier. Two copies of Remorites and two copies of Octillery. So moving on to the a, item cards. So I have a one Bell Compressor. It's a tech in this deck. I mean, search your deck for up to three cards and discard them. Shuffle your deck afterward. Definitely can be good, especially to um, discard some um, supporter cards that you don't need. Um, if you can find it in the early game or in the beginning of the game, you can definitely take some advantage. Um, three copies of Level Ball. Level Ball is good because with Level Ball I can find Axu, I can find uh, Fracture, I can find Remorite and Octillery. Definitely worth to play three of them. Um, also four copies of Puzzle of Times, just because with two Puzzle of Times I can put two any of cards into this compile bank in my hand. Three copies of Rare Candy. Um, choose one stage two Pokemon, uh, choose one of your basic Pokemon and you can evolve into a Hexorus from Axu, but you cannot play it um, the turn you um, actually put it on the bench. One Starling Megaphone, well, it's it's just good. I mean, you can discard the tools attached to your opponent's um, active Pokemon and bench Pokemon's. Um, Super Road, uh, one copy of it, just to put uh, three in combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards back into your um, deck. Uh, one copy of Target Whistle, well, it's definitely worth to play it. I mean, 
If you knock out your opponent's Shaman, you can just basically play again Tartar Crystal, Lysander, take another two prize cards, Puzzle of Time, repeat that, GG, you win the game. Uh, three copies of Trader's Mail, for co uh, three copies of Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is only, only for a Hexorus right there. Uh, the reason why uh, a lot of people should maybe ask why no Heavy Ball, um, well, there's just... Um, if you play Heavy Ball, you can just pick a Hexorus, but if you play Ultra Ball, you can pick any other Pokemon, and plus you can discard two cards in addition, for example, some supporter cards that you don't want to like to play, or you would like to play with the Versus Seeker, so that's the reason why I play a Ultra Ball also in addition to that. Um, four copies of Versus Seekers, one copy of Judge, one Lysander, four Sycamores, um, maybe Birch over four Sycamores, I'm not sure, but uh, I prefer better uh, Sycamores. One teammates, just because we should probably take um, fast knockout, but with the teammates we can just grab any two cards that we want from the deck. Um, even grabbing two Puzzle of Times, can we can just grab two any cards from the discard pile, which is also good. Um, two copies of Wally for turn one Octillery, um, Trading Center times two, um, two Float Stones, two Muscle Bands, um, four Double Dragon Energies, uh, one fighting energy and two metal energies, which means um, seven energies in total, 60 cards. So yeah, basically if you're looking for any of these cards, you can visit ccgcastle.com. You can find the link in the video description and by typing TCG Center 5 code, you will also get 5% discount on your purchase. So definitely keep that in mind. So let's try to test this deck so you can actually see how it will work. So see you in the Okay, game. so let's call the Tails this time. And it's a Tails. So that means that I will start first again. Um, hopefully I can start with actual some of uh, supporter card, energy card, and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I didn't find a any of these actuals or rem right. Um, it would be probably a decent start. I mean, there's a stadium, there's a trainer's mail, there's a muscle band, two puzzle of times, and also sycamore. But let's see. Let's just take a look what my opponent can play. Alright, so still waiting to him um, to set his bench, so he don't have anything to add to the bench. And let's see what I can get. Alright, so there's a Exu and a Remorite for the bench, so that's pretty decent. Um, let's see what I can top deck. I maybe just pass this turn, to be honest, um, so I can have Octillery next turn. And there's a Evil Tall. Do I want to pass turn? I mean, I can probably do that. I can't take the knockout. I mean, after that, I can play this. I can play artillery. I can play. Yeah, let's just go with the sycamore. Let's let's take the risk. Um, maybe I I can find super road, or I can find another artillery. Just as you see, I find it. So there's teammates. If I take, if we get the knockout, um, but I can't take the knockout from the evil tall. He can hit only for 50. I guess I can just go with a one double dragon energy and yeah, let's just pass for now. Yeah, for the next turn I have Octillery, I have um, Puzzle of Time, I guess, I can use Abusal Hand, and maybe I can find Rare Candy and Hexverus, that would be definitely pretty good. Also I have Versus Seeker, so I can just go with uh, Versus Seeker for a Hexverus, uh, uh, for the Sycamore, so maybe I find just Hexverus and Rare Candy instead of that. Um, but hey, if there's a chance that he can knock out my um, extra turn 1, then I can just play teammates, but uh, that's probably not gonna happen, to be honest. Um, there's a trainer's mail, so he can grab two energies. Um, there's two Galates, alright, so I might be able to see turn 1, um, Maxis Hidden Ball Tree for the Galate. So there's a Versus Seeker for a Sycamore, alright, so it looks like he's just gonna play Sycamore instead. Yep, there's a Sycamore, a um, lot of uh, energy discarded, oh, there's also Zorark, so pretty interesting. I need to keep my bench um, not expanded, because in that case I can just uh, increase the damage that uh, his um, Zorark can do with the Mind Jack. 
Okay, so let's see. And there's a puzzle of time, so let's just take a look. What he can do, um, with two puzzle of times, you can grab two cards from your disco pile back into your hand, so that's pretty pretty strong card, um, pretty powerful tech. Um, there's Ultra Ball for Sycamore and a um, Darkness Energy, what it can be. Maybe Zorua, probably. I'm not sure. Oh, oh he also played Evil Tully X, so there are some um, huge, huge babies. So, puzzle of time. Uh, will it be a second puzzle of time? Well, I just don't know until he decides to play it. And just the uh, one puzzle of time. So, probably I'm gonna take 30 damage. Yes, with the Oblivion Wing. Expected. And let's see, one energy will go down to the evil tall, it's my turn. What I can top deck, oh, I can top deck Fracture, but do I want actually to play it? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure. Um, let's see, Puzzle of Time, what can Puzzle of Time give me? Super Road, oh, probably I can use Super Road. With a Abyssal Hand. Yeah, I, I probably can do that. Before I decide to go with a versus Sycamore for Sycamore, um, definitely useful. So let's just go um, with versus Sycamore for a Sycamore. Um, hopefully, I can find a Hexorus here, but uh, there is no. There is no card I was looking for. I can discard probably. Yeah, I played Wally already. Hmm. I guess Target Whistle and. Um, do I want to discard Sycamore or Wally? Let's just better go with the Wally. Okay, I can grab another Egg Shoe. And. Let's see. Trainer's Mail. I'm looking for rare candy. Oh, rare candy. There you go. So it's a rare candy. Um, I can definitely evolve into my Hexorus. Plus, I can play a Muscle Band. But I probably don't want to do that. I will just go with a Muscle Band to the Bench at 1. And let's just go with the Dragon Pulse for 130 to um, start apply a huge pressure. Um, three cards discarded. Ooh, another Hexorus. Oh, there's a level ball. Okay, that's okay. Another Hexorus, um, double Dragon Energy. And what else was discarded? Not sure, 100%. Um, yeah, this evil token can hit me for like a lot of damage. Um, yeah, that's like... Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and ooh, enough for the knockout, I think. Well, at this point, he can do 120. Well, even without Stadium card, I'm okay. I probably will be okay. Oh, there's a muscle band, so that's 20 more, but still I have 30 more from the trading center. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140. Oh, there's a puzzle of time. Another puzzle of time. And an evil ball for 140, and yes, my hexer has just survived. So that's pretty um, crucial right now because I guess I can go for a another action and I actually can attach one energy and I can go with the Bizzle hand. What I can find with the Bizzle hand, um, Ultra Ball for a these two cards, I guess. Um, I can grab Fracture, so I can evolve. And do I want to play 
my sycamore right now I guess I just don't want because I want to have Hexers next turn I, I mean I can still find two puzzle times I guess but what else I can find well it's just question when I use a dragon pulls what should I discard so let's just take the risk um, there's one puzzle of time um, can I find another puzzle of time yes I can so that's okay alright so I have two puzzle of times so I can also play teammates for the next turn so I'm pretty sure um, I will be okay I can grab um, pretty decent cards well let's just go with a I guess I could even hit him with a sharp fang um, but let's just go with the Dragon Pulls um, for 130. Oh, double Dragon Energy. He's discarded. No. Yeah, I should just go with a Sharp Fang and next turn um, go straight for the Knockout. But I guess never mind. It's okay. I mean, I have two Puzzle of Times. I can grab them. I also have Versus Seeker for teammates, so I can pick any four cards that I really need. I also have rare candy so I can have two um, two more hexers for the next turn plus I can grab like uh, two yeah I guess I'll just go for one super road so I can put back two hexers in my deck and I guess maybe hmm, I don't know maybe one uh, to my hand Plus, I still need that double dragon energy, so that it's the question. I, I will definitely first go with the Versus Seeker for a uh, to see if I have double dragon energy in my deck. But I can also attack just uh, by taking a fighting energy. So, but the problem is that I already discarded one, and I play only one double um, fighting fighting energy and and two uh, metal energies. But it's, the, it's pretty much the same, so I still need a... I still need um, double dragon energy so I can 100% be sure so that I can knock out this evil tally X. And there's a shaming for my opponent. Oh, so he's on 13 cards, and right now he will be on the 9. I'm also on the 9. Oh yeah, I totally forgot, I still have that Octillery so I can use a Bizzle Hand even for a draw more cards. Um, but the most important is to see what I can um, top deck. Oh, so he actually decided to go with the stand-in for the knockout. I guess in this situation I will just uh, probably need to go with a Lysander. I guess. So, let's just go with a Fracture in front. Um, let me see. Yeah, I can use Sharp Fang, definitely. Um, versus Seeker for a Lysander. So I have three Hexerus. Guess I can go with two Puzzle of Times. So I need one Hexerus. Uh, plus, I need that Super Road. So. I can play Hexerus, I can play Super Road, um, I can put back two Hexerus and a Fighting and a Fighting Energy. Okay, what else I can do? Um, yeah, Lysander definitely. I don't need to play anything else. Um, I can just go with the Sharp Fang. So it will be knockout. I will take two prizes. So from this point, um, all I can pretty much do is um, try to search my deck for um, for Target Whistle. Oh, but I already discarded Target Whistle, so yeah, once I knock out Shaman, I can grab two more prizes, and oh, so he definitely decided to remove Shaman from play. There's a Mind Jack for 70. Um, Starling Megaphone, that's okay to me. I can use that. Um, let's just go with a Cotillery and a Floatstone. 
artillery and a floatstone for another hex of Bruce. Oh, but I totally forgot to look my other cards that I have. So there's a rare candy. Um, I guess I will just go for the 60 with the Sharp Fang. Or maybe with the Dragon Dance. Hmm. Or maybe with the Bizzle Hand first. <sighs> Two Hexeros. Uh, I should definitely put one more Axew. Um, hmm. Yeah, I guess I guess I can take one knockout, one more knockout on that Zerua. Um, but how many versus seekers do I play? It? I play three of them, so it's a tough decision. Actually, the call. Um, hmm. Yeah, he can hit me with the mind jack again. And what I can do? I can play not too much. Well, let's just go for a. Sharp Fang or a Dragon Dance. Well, let's just go with the Sharp Fang. I mean, if you attach one energy and muscle band to Evil Tall, that's like 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 plus my 120. Well, that's enough for the knockout, so that's the reason why I should probably just. Well, maybe I should take a risk and next turn just go with the versus sequel for that evil tall on the bench. Hmm. Maybe I actually do a misplay. Maybe I actually does a misplay. So there's another puzzle of time. Hmm. Yeah, I should probably do that. And I didn't do that. Um, so yeah, he have like three double colors in play. Oh, yeah. As I says, um, there's a double color synergy with a, another puzzle of time and the muscle band. So exactly two cards that he was looking for. Hmm. From this point, yeah, I can probably play teammates. Um, hope that I have one more um, double dragon energy in my deck. And from this point, I can probably... Um, try to knock out somehow this evil tally x so let's see um versus seeker for teammates um teammates four um hmm. there's just muscle band and energy so guess i will not be actually able to knock him out Hmm. Well, I think I should go with the Dragon Dance right now. I mean, I don't have nothing to lose. If he tried to retreat, but it, but he probably will go with the Ice Cyclone so he can knock me out next turn. I would assume that. Well, let's just go with the Dragon Dance. I mean, he don't have enough um, cards or energies to knock me out. And what I will looking for next turn will be a energy card. I have Bell Compressor, so I can discard a few of cards left. Then I can try to play a Bizzle Hand. Um, but I guess I will not be actually able to do that. So I have Sycamore. At least I can knock out this Evil Tal, but I think that I can win this game. Um, but Let's just be patient, let's see. Um, if I'm my opponent, I should probably just go with a Ice Cyclone um, for 110, remove this energy to a Zorark, and pretty much... That's pretty much all that you can actually do. I mean, you can't do nothing else. Um, there's a Versus Seeker, so let's see what he can grab with Versus Seeker. He can go with the Lysander. No, he can go with the Zero Seek, but... Oh, so he decided to go with the Lysander. Ah, yeah, playing Lysander will... Ah, yes. So, just he removed my effect from the Hexorus. 
Uh, come on, I should go with the sharp fang. Once again, I should go with the... I mean, I survived at least, so that's something. Guess I can go again with the Dragon Dance. Who cares? I mean, it's just a play. How many Versus Seekers he played? Um, four puzzles and three Versus Seekers. Let's see. This is like a chess match right now. Um, my Octillery survived just uh, because I have Trading Center. But all I really need is the top deck next turn, a Energy card. I mean, I don't need it. I, I can hit with even Sharp Fang for a enough for the knockout because I have Muscle Band, so it will just increase my my Sharp Fang for a hundred more, so I will be dealing a hundred and eighty damages. Battle Compressor for my opponent. Let's see what he can do. I mean, he's on the five cards, I'm on the three cards, but to be honest, I'm in a better position. Uh, once I'll be able to knock out this Evil Tal, it's pretty much GG because I have only one Pokemon on the bench. And there's another versus seeker for a oh so he decided to go, oh so he actually didn't grab a all right so sycamore I mean a double colorless energies and a solid megaphone will work for my opponent because in that case he will just knock out both of my Pokemon's and 2040 yes and this just happened. It's enough for the knockout. Exactly 160. Well, that's a bad luck, definitely. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Once again, there's a deck list. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos. Yeah, it was it was pretty interesting um, matchup against my opponent. I actually made a few misplays, but uh, the deck works pretty well. Um, definitely that Sycamore saved my opponent at the end of the video, if, if you uh, saw that. I mean, that uh, must, that uh, Verbal Swally was um, pretty good because he was able to knock out my artillery from the play um, by removing a my stadium. And he just finished the game with Yultal and the double cover synergy as well. But yeah, anyway, um, pretty good deck to um, play with it, so I hope you enjoy watching it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more future videos, and uh, until the next time, have a nice day and goodbye.